everybody welcome back this is Kim I have a new video today I am finally off the uber eats waiting list super super exciting this is my first day uh, before I get started please don't forget to subscribe I'd really appreciate that okay so let's get going here so uber eats finally I got the email that I can continue my way to becoming a Uber Eats driver. So I consented to the background check and that was done pretty quick, just a couple hours. Um, and then I signed the docs and did the online training, which was very straightforward, maybe took 10 minutes. It, everything was really quick and I thought it was a very well planned out process. There was nothing difficult about it, which was great. I was on the waiting list for probably, I don't know, two months maybe? I'm not sure when I really signed up, but anyways, didn't seem too horrible. So anyways, I'm excited to give it a try. I've watched so many YouTube videos and people really seem to love Uber Eats. They love to be driving for that platform and making good money. I'm really excited to try it. I already deliver for DoorDash and Grubhub, so I understand how it all works. I'm really interested to see if the app's easy to use and will I get any good offers? I'm gonna let you know. Okay, so getting started. I, you open the app and click on the go button, which is right here. Um, but before that, I, I kind of explored a little bit. They have this little, um, you know, the little hamburger or whatever you want to call it, this little menu button. And if you click on that, the tabs are the COVID-19 info, there's inbox promotions, earnings, Uber Eats Pro, wallet, account, and help. So under promo promotions, it said it was a 1.3 something. I can't remember what it said, but basically you'd make 1.3 extra, I guess. And there was a extra six dollars if you did oh my god i can't remember now i think five deliveries or something i don't know anyways as you'll see none of that mattered so um anyways yeah so you can see your earnings which i have none i don't know so anyways the covid19 information i did read through that because i wanted to make sure that i did everything properly so there you go so you click go and then this comes up and it says confirm the COVID-19 precautions, which when you click on that, the screen comes up and Uber's policy requires everyone to wear a face cover or mask. Please confirm the following actions based on CDC guidelines and we'll let your customers know. So you click that you're wearing a mask. Um, I actually do wear an N95. Um, I won't drive if I have any COVID symptoms. I disinfect my vehicle at the start and end of every day. I have uh, disinfectant wipes in the car. I do it several times a day. I uh, wash or sanitize my hands regularly. I have hand sanitizer in there after every delivery, after every pickup. Um, and then down here is where you can get some free PPE and stuff if you click on that. Anyway, so you click the boxes and then it asks you to take a photo with your mask on. Like I said, I do wear an N95 mask just to be safe. Um, and I'm not sure if these specific list is uh, specific to certain areas or if everyone has the same exact screen. It may vary by location. I don't really know. Anyways, not a big deal. Uh, now they want another photo. So after you take the photo with the mask on, then it asks for a photo without the mask. It's a little bit annoying to do this. I don't know if, um, if you have to do that every single time. I don't know. I've only been on once. But anyways, I guess they want to verify that it's really me, and that makes sense. Um, after this next photo, the app says it's looking for orders. This is exciting. So I turned on the app at 925. Waited and waited and waited and waited. Meanwhile, I was doing Grubhub and DoorDash, so I wasn't just sitting somewhere waiting, thank goodness, because I didn't get my first offer until 10.45 a.m. I was so excited when it popped up. But then, buzzkill, <laughs> the amount included, including an expected tip of $3.18. Wow. 
three miles. Uh, estimated 15 minutes. Picking up at Wendy's, and this is a condo complex. Um, I really do not like this condo complex. There's never any parking. It's a really high density area. Um, lots of people hanging around outside. It's just, I don't like going there. Anyways, and Wendy's never has food ready. So this is gonna take more than 15 minutes, I'm sure. Regardless, I don't care. I'm not doing anything for $3.18. Big fat decline on that one. Okay, so a little while later, 11.19, the next one comes in. It's a little better than the first offer, but still under my $8 minimum. So this one's a total of 2.3 miles, estimated 14 minutes. It's a delivery to an apartment complex that I really do not like. This is next door to the condos that I don't like. This whole area is just very high density. There's no parking. These apartments are not in really a reasonable order, so it's kind of hard to find the apartment building. Um, anyways, nope. Uh, I'm going to decline this one too. Okay, 11.23, my next offer comes in, $5.37, six miles, estimated 22 minutes, delivery to another apartment complex. So I guess apartment people use Uber Eats. I don't know, <laughs> it's crazy. And five guys, the food is never ready. And this is way under my $8 and $2 a mile minimum. So that was another decline. I don't want to sound so negative and I don't want to sound like I'm being super picky, but these are ridiculously low and I can't believe that people are actually accepting these offers. They must not make any money if they do. Okay, here's the next offer at 1138, $4.08, 3.3 miles, 18 minutes estimated, um, you know, this is actual house this time, and dog house is a fine restaurant, but wow, four dollars and eight cents. Another big decline there. Okay, now next one, eleven forty-one. Still a very low amount, six dollars and eighty-five cents. Total of one point seven miles. Estimated twelve minutes. Another apartment complex. Um, I can just imagine what was ordered and I have to wander around this uh, apartment complex carrying who knows how many coffees from Starbucks here. Uh, yeah, nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> so another decline of that one. You know, this was really frustrating to me because I was really had high hopes. If I would have just had one decent offer, anything over $8, I probably would have taken it unless it was a really far distance or something but um, this was two hours in and I had not received one decent offer everything was terrible in my opinion I was really disappointed so I decided to just turn off the app this was a very underwhelming experience and maybe I just hit it on a bad day maybe it's because it was morning um, but I did not get one offer worth taking. I did great with Grubhub and DoorDash during that same two hours. And I'll probably just stick with those two platforms for a while. I may try Uber Eats again someday in the future. Maybe I'll try to run it at dinner time. See if the offers are any better. Um, I don't know. I just, yeah. I was really disappointed. I really, really, really wanted to like it. I hear so many wonderful things and maybe it's just this area. I don't know. I haven't met any Uber Eats delivery people. Um, you know, I talk to a lot of people when we're waiting for food and stuff and just a little smart, small talk and everything, but I haven't run into an Uber Eats driver here. And maybe that's why. It's just not a worthwhile platform and um, I don't know. But anyways, I'm glad that all of you do well with it. <laughs> and like I said, I might try it again someday. I don't know. I was just really disappointed today. I really wanted some decent offers. But it didn't happen. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well. And I'll see you next time.